Before we begin the presentation I want to take a moment to share your feedback that I requested in my community section. Take some time as you watch the video to come up with a unique idea that would mitigate police brutality to some degree. Thank you for taking the time to give me your view of the subject and expressing interest. My videos are often directed by your feedback. This is a topic I have thought long and hard about for years. My idea is upload all body cam to an AI server that does the redactions based on a training model, the body cam is then available to the public, a payment system will be set up as well to eliminate the need for face-to-face -face transactions. The body cam will be fed from a server farm and available for direct download with strict read and write access controlled by a higher level agency. The police would think twice all day every day then. Thank you for supporting my channel, I don't have links or ad about a VPN or crypto, I only kindly ask for a sincere subscribe and a like. The goal is for the videos to keep being viewed for years to come so the reminder is always being displayed and history can be used as a tool and guide for everyone. Thank you. On October 11, 2021, in Augusta, Georgia in the evening hours just off of a busy highway next to an airport, Jermaine Jones was pulled over by Richmond County Police Investigator Christopher Brown for a tag plate violation, the drug suppression unit showed up as well for this bogus but targeted tag investigation, Jones tried to run, investigator Richard Russell fire a deadly taser shot that caused Jones to fall to his death, that is silly narrative the Richmond County Sheriff's Office, District Attorney Jared Williams and those seven cops are trying to push. After a struggle, Jones was tasked by Officer Richard Russell and later died from head trauma on October 18, 2021. The DA's office and the Sheriff's Office have been conspiring to keep the video withheld by claiming the case is still under investigation. The GBI made an exemption without consulting the DA's office and DA Jared Williams cleared the seven offices of wrongdoing in December 22, 2022. I have made several requests for the body cam footage and other materials, including video and audio depositions from the seven offices, but have received exemptions and vague responses from the city attorney Tamika Haynes, Internal Affairs Sergeant Celeb Lee, and Internal Affairs John Perry. Despite sending a final request on January 28, 2023, I have yet to receive a response, resulting in a violation of open records laws. Yes, as astounding as it seems and mind-boggling to say the least, I still am having a hard time understanding it but all seven officers are still on the streets, free, carrying guns and targeting civilians, you only see four here because the others showed up after the fact but are, still complicit. Where can you have a job and act like these cops? Easy answer, District Attorney Jared Williams, that is exactly how, he owns the, blueprint to police murder justification, Jared Williams does not trust his own government, as you will see here shortly, Jared is a bootlicking blue line back in courtroom slacking, bum that loves goats, <coughs> with really long beards, I mean the kind of fur you dream of. And let's not forget the, shaggy butt fur, that butt fur is seriously important and necessary to say the least. But enough of Jared Williams the first have a playlist below the video titled, What Happened to Jermaine Jones, where I post the disciplinary files and body cam of these cops to show a little bit more of their personality and to see if they are individually capable of murder. So far Richard Russell is more than capable and wants to prove what a big strong man he is to his piggy buddies. He wants to show how macho he is attacking homeless people. I am the queen! Arresting sober people for DUI. There is a video circulating also about Parker Leathers. Georgia Constitution Media, a civil rights activist posted the video on his YouTube channel showing Parker retaliating for some butt pain that came his way, yes butt pain, the flipping of the bird, the middle finger, throwing up the juice, talon of disrespect, digit of displeasure, one-fingered hug, feathered farewell. Yes you heard that right, Parker is a sensitive baby, a real crier too. The driver's license. Yeah, what'd you pull me over for? Failure to maintain lane. Tell the truth. Failure to Tell the lane. truth. Tell the truth. I got a dash cam, man. You got a driver's license? Oh, I got one. I got driver's license. Richard Russell resigned after the murder of Jermaine Jones and now is a police officer for Warrenton Police Department in Warrenton, Georgia. Russell was used to pacify those most concerned. By him leaving the Richmond County Sheriff's Office, the department can state that they indeed took care of the problem. How convenient. Meet Augusta, Georgia District Attorney Jared Williams. Jared does not communicate with the public, in fact, he does not even want to see the public and sure as hell does not want the public to see him. Just look at the Attorney General's website, super sad state of affairs. You see Jared only releases press releases to the mainstream news outlets, I have requested this same benefit over the phone, via email and in person. No responses to any form of communication from Jared Williams. How easy is it to say hi? How easy is it to come out of your office and greet the people you work for? I guess some tasks should be handled by grown folk. 
As you can see in the video I recorded on January 26, 2023 inside of the courthouse in the district attorney's office on the second floor I was respectful and courteous and simply wanted to ask Augusta Georgia district attorney Jared Williams some questions as to why he closed the Jermaine Jones case and why he felt the GBI's own medical examiner's report was not good enough for him. Why in the world are these seven cops still carrying weapons around? A district attorney who gives media statements to the mainstream media but will not talk to a private citizen is demonstrating a level of selectiveness in their communication. This behavior can indicate that they prioritize the interests of large media outlets over the concerns and questions of individual members of the public. This type of communication strategy can foster a perception of favoritism and disregard for the rights of citizens to access information about criminal cases. It may also raise questions about the district attorney's level of transparency and accountability, as well as the impartiality of their decision-making process. Such behavior can lead to further mistrust and dissatisfaction among members of the community who are seeking answers about criminal cases. A district attorney who does not communicate with the public is an elected official who is responsible for representing the state in criminal trials and overseeing the prosecution of criminal cases within their jurisdiction. However, if Jared Williams is not communicating with the public, it can indicate a lack of transparency and accountability in their work. This type of district attorney may be perceived as unapproachable, unresponsive, and uninterested in engaging with the community they serve. It can also raise questions about the decision-making process and the motivations behind their actions.